I have been very impressed on the videos, the information that I've read so far. I didn't have time yet to read the book, but I'm going to. You share insights with different levels. Each level is like a terrain. You speak about it's okay to stay in one terrain for quite a while, and you might stay there your whole life. That's a level that you're most comfortable and you do the most good for the world. So can you tell me a little bit about that? Really, the thing is, this is a non-judgmental model. Like we're really putting this out into the world to help people have compassion for each other. Because actually, when you step back and you look at it from the perspective of consciousness, this is like an unfolding tapestry and all the strands are equally important. You know, the kind of so-called evil doers in the world, even at the terrain that they're at, a pyramid, they're providing a context against which everybody else can wake up and make choices and become empowered. So, you know, it's kind of like if you imagine a street and if everybody in that street was moving houses all the time, there really wouldn't be any neighborhood. There wouldn't be any feeling of that street. Mm -hmm. So you need a few people to stay stable in that street, like they're at this terrain their whole life and everyone else around them is moving relative to them. And it may be that next lifetime they play the opposite roles and they're the one who doesn't move and everybody else around them moves. So when, when you look at it from the perspective of non-judgment, you can actually see how the whole thing's playing out for the highest good of everybody. We are one collective consciousness and the idea that what we're really looking at with terrains here is degrees of expansion of perception more so than levels. Levels often implies judgments, and so we're really careful to underscore that it's where you're seeing the world from, that is where you need to be learning what you need to be learning and doing what you need to be doing. As an example, you could be standing on the ground and you're seeing from one perspective, you could be up on a hot air balloon and see it from another perspective, you could be up on a spaceship and see it from yet another perspective. So that's... But none of them are better than the other. They're just different perspectives. And so this is 10 different parallel perspectives, each of which contributes to the whole and are equally valuable and necessary. 